have been there, brother. <laughs> Where? Well, <laughs> welcome to Bob's Bone Tips. <laughs> Tonight, we're going to be a little bit serious. What? Really, we are. We started off wrong for that, man. I know, right? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> behind me, or our pins at our state, or our, at where we bowl, sometimes they put a red pin in there for February for Valentine's Day. Well, I'm going to talk about does the red pin affect your bowling? Okay, does it affect the way you throw the ball? Does it affect where you look? Now, a friend of mine asked me how far apart the pins were. And I told him I wasn't exactly sure. And he asked if it was a half a foot, and I told him no. No. It's actually really more like six inches. So it's really not that much. So, besides that point, we're going to talk about the red pin. Does it cause you to miss a strike? Wait a minute, Bob. Isn't six inches a half a foot? No. Is anyway, anyway, moving on. Let's not talk about. It. Yes, moving on. Anyway, I hate I hate my friends. Anyway, the red pins do distract you. Now, if you're trying to put the ball where you want it, and you the, the red pin pops up, is it really six? Never mind. Any anyway. So remember, the pins are about half a foot apart. Is that like six inches? Apparently so, yes. Yes, apparently so. Or the length of a certain appendage that I have? That's all you got? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Anyway. We're talking about bowling here, Bob. Yes, well, yes, we are talking about bowling. So remember, if a red pin pops up, watch your mark and don't watch the pin because that's what will mess you up. And remember, six inches isn't a bad thing. It's the average distance. Till next time, happy bowling.